Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I have a really cool little object here in my hand. I got it at a bookstore for super inexpensive for what it is. You might say spending $45 on a Wii game is a lot, but for this particular Wii game, it's actually a bargain. That's right, I got one. Sealed, new, in the box, never opened, tape, tape, a few nicks on the case, but that's just what happens with age. 25th anniversary, Super Mario Brothers All-Stars Limited Edition. This is super cool. I picked this up for $45, it was brand new, they had two copies. One had been opened and was slightly more damaged, and this one, which was brand new, same price. Obviously, I went with the brand new one. The guy who gave it to me was super helpful. He pulled out both of them, and I was able to look at both of them, and obviously, I went with the new one. Not gonna open this anytime soon, if ever. It's a super cool little display piece that I have up sitting like this on my TV stand and I'm gonna put a picture now. And if you look closely at the picture, you'll also see a few more things up there. If you wanna see another, not another, but a video on any of those, let me know. And one object up there, the CD player radio unit you see, there is a video coming soon for that. This, I just thought I should make a video now. I got it a few days ago, so. It's not like straight from the store immediately filming, but this is a super cool piece of tech history in my books. So I think it's uh, worthy enough to have a video of its own to put on the channel. This is a cool, this is a really cool piece of tech history. Let's take a closer look now that I've got my rant over with. Here's the back. It's Mario's 25th anniversary. Well, in 2010 it was. It has in it, right here, a soundtrack CD and a Mario history booklet, along with the game itself, obviously. It has four Super Mario Brothers levels in it, all four, and this is just a bunch of Nintendo seal stuff. Uh, this is the side, it has the jumping Mario right there. And the other side is exactly the same, Jumping Mario. And if you notice, these are shiny right here. So if I, if I turn on my phone flashlight, you'll see that the Mario right there is reflective and all this stuff is also reflective. It's just kind of hard to see for some reason. It doesn't want to show up on camera properly. But as you can see, the Mario is reflective and it's not just printed on as you can see there hard to show, but it's, there you go, you can do that. If we open it up here, this is the part that is already open. You see more stuff right here for Mario Greatest Adventures, as they call it. And then it explains more of the booklet and the CD that's included. That's pretty much it for the outside of the box. Um, this is the top if you want to see it. There's nothing on the bottom. But yeah, guys, this is a really cool, a really cool piece of history that will be on display again here. Put a picture on my hand there. Uh, it'll probably sit there for a while. I will not be opening it anytime soon. I don't believe. But here's the deal. If this video gets 500 likes, I know long shot, I will open it. But this video will never have 500 likes, so I will never open it. Anyway, guys, uh, catch you guys in the next video. Bye.